Hey everybody, Charles for HumbleMechanic.com. This is episode 64 of the Humble Mechanic Podcast, and today we're going to be talking about why flat rate is good. So, you may actually be shocked that a technician thinks flat rate is a good thing. Well, the truth is there's a lot of upside to flat rate, not only for the technician, but for the customer and for the dealership as well. I've done an entire video about how flat rate works, and I'll put a link to that in the show notes. But the quick overview is we're paid by the job. So let's say a brake job pays three hours. If I take four hours to do the job, I lose one hour. If I take two hours to do the job, not only do I gain one hour pay more than I actually spent working on the car, but I can start on the next car and kind of be doubling up my time or tripling up my time throughout the day. Basically, we get paid by the job regardless of how long it takes. Now, before I go any further, this is not, 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 absolutely not an advertisement for flat rate. I am not beating the drum about how flat rate is the perfect way to pay technicians, but all you technicians deep down know that there is an upside to flat rate. But if you think it's all negative, hang with me for a few minutes, and I think I might be able to change your mind. Any negative thoughts you have about flat rate, just take, put them up on the shelf for now, and let's move forward and talk about some of the things that are really good about this pay system. We're going to start off by looking at it from a technician standpoint. Flat rate is actually built to pay better technicians more. And what I mean by that is the technician that works harder, does more cars, fixes cars right, is going to make more time than the one that slacks off and takes 100 cigarette breaks and doesn't really come into work ready to hustle. It also encourages you to fix the vehicle right the first time. So if you take two technicians, one works really fast and fixes a bunch of cars, and one works really fast and fixes a bunch of cars, and technician B has a bunch of comebacks, that's going to wind up costing him money because now these comebacks he's working on, he's not getting paid for. All while technician A keeps working, keeps hustling, and keeps making money on cars. So it really does encourage you to fix the vehicle right the first time so you don't have to worry about fixing it a second time or a third time. Basically, think of it as comebacks cost money. It also rewards hard work. It means if you're the one that's willing to take that extra last car at the end of the day, you're going to make a little bit more time for that day, as opposed to the guy that left 10 minutes early. And if you're good at it, you can make a buttload of money. I found some really good ways to utilize the flat rate system to not only make a really good paycheck for myself, but make a bunch of money for the dealership, and most importantly, do right by all of my customers. And that can be something as simple as stacking functions of a job, hustling a little bit faster, making sure all my documentation is proper, and looking vehicles over to make sure that they're safe and they don't have any additional maintenance concerns. From a customer standpoint, it encourages them to do the work fast, and it encourages them to do the work right. Again, comebacks cost money. But really the best benefit for the customer is that they don't have to pay more for a slow technician. So let's take that technician A, technician B example again. Technician A is a really fast technician, works hard, knows all the systems, knows how to fix the cars or maintain the cars properly. Technician B is really slow and lazy and doesn't want to work hard. So instead of the customer paying more for technician B to do the job than technician A, they pay the same rate no matter what. So the times are set by the job, not by the technician. So look at it this way. If the time was set by the technician, they could just punch the clock, sit on the butt, not do anything, check their email, check their Twitter account, and really milk the time from the customer. Whereas on flat rate, it's set by the job, it's gonna pay that no matter what, from the customer's end, it's gonna cost that no matter what. It's in the technician's best interest to fix it fast and fix it right, to get the customer on the road to move on to the next vehicle. It's also good for the dealership or the service station. The technician's pay is directly tied to labor. So if the labor rate's $100 an hour and the technician's pay is $20 an hour, it effectively becomes an $80 an hour labor rate for the service station instead of paying the technician straight by the hour. Also, from a dealership standpoint, if the technician isn't working, they're not getting paid, so they don't really become a direct expense. I know for some of my fellow technicians, you really don't like hearing that. Just imagine for one second you were the one signing the check. And again, technician A, technician B, technician A hustled, worked hard all day long. Technician B came in and checked his Facebook for four hours of the day. Who would you rather be paying? And how would you rather be paying them is a better question. Just like from a technician standpoint, from a dealership standpoint, it really encourages hard work. It encourages bringing one more car in a day. 
It encourages technicians to look over cars. It encourages service advisors to know the maintenance intervals and tell customers that, hey, at 50,000 miles in addition to an oil change, you also need spark plugs. It encourages technicians to know the system so they can diagnose cars faster. Which is one area that a lot of guys miss incredible opportunities on flat rate, is actually knowing the systems and understanding how they work so that they can repair them faster. And dealership wide, it encourages more cars to come in through the shop. So again, that customer at the end of the day, you don't tell them to come in tomorrow, you bring them in and get them taken care of. Which, flipping back to the customer end, is good for the customer because now they're more likely to get into the service station instead of having to wait two or three days. So I can hear it now, I can hear the keyboards going, Charles, you're an idiot, flat rate sucks, we hate it, it's stupid, it's a ripoff, we do free work all the time, it's just a way for dealerships to scam and, and promotes crooked technicians and promotes shortcuts. Hang on a second, hang on a second. Before you burn me up in the comments, I know all of that. I understand where you're coming from. I've done it, I'm doing it, I know how flat rate works. But just stop for one second and think. Think about that job that you make 300% efficiency on. Think about that 1.8 turbo Passat timing belt that pays five and a half or six hours that you can do while you're really hustling and on your game in 45 minutes. Flat rate's not so bad when we look at it at that standpoint from a technician. Now a customer may not love flat rate at that standpoint, but from a technician standpoint, I just made 500% efficiency. I love it. So I made six and a half hours in one hour. I'm on to the next job. I'm stacking pay on pay on pay, and I'm super happy about it. I love flat rate. And if you did jobs like that all day long, you would absolutely love flat rate too. But we know that's not the real world. We know we don't do timing belts on timing belts on timing belts all day long. We have to juggle timing belts and check engine light diagnosis and free tire pressure checks and oil changes that don't really pay but barely as long as they take. I get it. I don't love flat rate either. It's not perfect. Let's face it, it works. Because if it didn't work, we would be doing something else. And by we, I mean the auto industry as a whole. Now there are companies that are doing it different. Tesla pays by the hour. No worry about coming in and having to break your butt in order to make six hours. You hit the clock and you get paid. And that may be for the entire future of the company or next month they may change it to a flat rate system. I don't know. I don't think straight hourly is the right answer either because if I'm getting paid 20 bucks an hour and the guy next to me is getting paid 20 bucks an hour, I'm hustling all day to get cars done and he's checking his Facebook all day, do you really feel like the two of us should be paid the same, not only dollar amount, but in the same way? Is our value as employees, is our value as technicians equal? And you gotta be honest and say no. So I know there's bad stuff about flat rate. Think about some of the things I said. Think about that when you're getting your butt kicked and go, man, you know what, this is terrible, but that next job's a timing belt and I'm gonna make 500% efficiency on it. Or that next job's a brake job, I'm gonna make 300% efficiency on it. And if you're a customer, be thankful that you're not paying for that really slow technician that's on his phone checking Facebook all day because you would probably be paying one and a half to two times what you're paying now. And I think we all see the benefit of the dealership, so there's no use beating a dead horse on that end. So my question of the day is, do you think performance-based pay is the best pay plan out there? So go ahead and post your answers in the comment section. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. As always, if you have any questions, also post that in the comment section. Hey, if you liked the video, throw it a thumbs up on YouTube. You can also subscribe on YouTube or on the blog at humblemechanic.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the blog, and obviously on YouTube. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. And I will see you next time. Hey, let me know what you guys think of this uh, this extra camera over here and some of the back-and-forth camera angles. Just trying to play around with it and see if we can change the, uh, the feel of the show a little bit. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Springtime.